Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about Halloween today, but first I wanted to say thanks to everybody who subscribed. And I recently hit a milestone of 500 subscribers. It was super exciting for me. Thank you so much. Now let's get into Halloween. The past couple of years, we haven't been invited anywhere. So we haven't done costumes the past couple of years because we had nowhere to go. Well, this year we got invited to a costume party. So I was thinking about what would be something that's fairly easy, that would be a great costume for us. I have this really big faux fur coat, and so I thought, well, I could just be Corella DeVille, I'll wear a black dress, I'll get a wig, I'll wear the coat, done, and I'll put some black dots on a white t-shirt for Mike, he'll be a Dalmatian, that'll be done. Then I laid down on the couch one night to watch TV, and the movie Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead was on, and it was like a light bulb went off. I decided we're gonna be Sue Ellen Crandall and Brian, the clown dog delivery guy from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. If you've not seen that movie, you gotta go check it out. It's great, a little far-fetched, but great, and our costumes are gonna be so good. I've spent hours on this costume already. I still have hours to spend, and so that's why you guys are gonna go on this journey with me with this costume. So let me show you what I have so far. For Brian, the clown dog delivery guy, that's what Mike's gonna be. He's wearing a clown dog delivery outfit. So it's white pants with a red pinstripe down the side, a white shirt with the clown dog logo on the back, a button that's his name tag, a red belt, and then a paper boy cap. What I did is I got a white shirt, we got a white shirt. I own a button maker. I feel like that just fits with my personality. Of course I own a button maker. And I'll tell you, it's been a great purchase. I bought it years and years and years ago. I don't even know why I initially bought a button maker, but it's come in handy in my life. So with this, I just found the clown dog logo online. I made a little template, printed it out, and made it into a button. Can't recommend getting a button maker enough. So then on the back here, I took the clown dog logo and I printed it really big and I put it on a dark color iron-on transfer. Here's the thing with iron-on transfers if you've never used them. If you get a light color pack of iron-on transfers, the transfers themselves are actually clear and you have to reverse the image because the color of the shirt will come through the image. If you get dark color transfers, the actual transfer is white so you don't have to reverse the image and the color's printed on white. Now you will have this like little, um, border unless you cut right on the graphic but if you get up close to that it's really pixelated and so i didn't want to cut it's not a clean line so i just went ahead and made the border part of the design but if you're ever buying iron on transfers i highly recommend just getting the dark color ones because you're gonna have that white background and i just think they look better and they're way easier to deal with and this is coming from somebody who's made a lot of homemade t-shirts a lot i mean i own a button maker i i craft a lot now for the belt, I just happened to go to some Goodwills to get the pieces for our costume and I found the perfect red belt. And so that I just looked into. For the pants, we had a little bit harder time with the pants. I thought white dress, dress pants would be kind of easy to find. I was wrong. Nowhere has white dress pants, especially in the winter. So we actually went to Walmart and they have white painter's pants. These are a little bit more cargo-y than I would prefer them to be, but beggars can't be choosers, especially when it's crunch time. These came without this pinstripe on them and what I did is I took ribbon because again I couldn't just leave it at the pants they had to have the pinstripe even though nobody would have known the difference but I would have known I took this no sew hemming tape that I got from Ikea and luck would have it the ribbon I got was thinner than the hemming tape so I had to cut the hemming tape I had to trim it which that was probably one of the most tedious parts of this whole process but I just laid the pants out on the kitchen table and went along with my iron and with the ribbon and the hemming tape and just put it all the way down the pants. And I just followed that hem that's already on the pants. Side note, that hemming tape is amazing. I may never sew again, because it was so easy just to iron it and it's done. The next pieces that Mike's costume needs are a bow tie and then he needs a little paper boy hat. Uh, I think they call them busboy hats. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Krispy Kreme. This is a twofer because I get a donut and I'll get the hat. And then I'm just gonna cover up the Krispy Kreme logo to make that the hat for Mike. And then he's gonna put his own shoes with it and his costume should be done. Now for me, as Sue Ellen Crandall, she wears lots of pantsuits. I looked for a pantsuit at basically every thrift shop in the Wichita area and I couldn't find a pantsuit that fit or worked or was the right color. I was lucky enough that I found a green blazer at a thrift shop. It's got nice, shoulder pads in it because you know any movie made in 1990 is gonna have some serious shoulder pads and I need that 
Um, I'm gonna roll up the sleeves like she does, but it's the perfect green color and I have the blazer. I'm just gonna wear black pants with it. I'm also pairing with that just a red heathered t-shirt because that's what she's wearing in the movie. She's wearing two necklaces. One is like a ball chain with something on the bottom, which I have one of those that I'm gonna wear. The other is like a leather necklace with keys at the bottom. So I actually found some keys at a craft store and some leather, so I'm gonna make that necklace. She's also wearing a red scarf with black details on it. I'm actually going to just use a permanent marker, probably a Sharpie, and do some squiggly lines on this. So I'll show you how I do that part as well. And then I'm actually gonna do a hairstyle that she does at the end of the movie. So I'm kind of mixing costumes there, but I really like the end hairstyle. What started out as something that I wanted to do a simple costume that wouldn't take much work has turned into a full on project. I'm gonna take you on the rest of this journey as we finish this costume to being Sue Ellen Crandall and Brian from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Okay, so here I am cutting out the pieces of fabric for the bow tie. I actually had it all cut out. I just bought, these t-shirts were on sale, um, three for $10. And so I bought one of the t-shirts to go under my costume to be Sue Ellen Crandall. And another t-shirt I just bought for Mike to have in life. It was a cute color t-shirt. And then this I bought to make the bow tie. I cut out all the pieces and then I realized I cut it out wrong. So I have to recut out a piece. I should note this isn't gonna be super precise. One, I'm not great at like measuring and making things exact. Two, it doesn't super matter because if this is gonna be the part of the bow tie that goes around the neck piece so you won't really see it. And three, this fabric being t-shirt fabric kind of gives a little bit. So even when I cut it, it's probably not gonna be perfect. Okay, now I'm going to make the bow tie with the fabric that I cut out of the t-shirt. In the movie, the bow tie is yellow with red polka dots, so I just bought some puff paint. I'm going back to my early days of making my own clothes. Just when I would puff paint everything. Here goes nothing. I figured out if I push the top of this into the fabric more, it makes it more like drawing on the fabric as opposed to this has like little kind of nubs. It's like thicker, which this doesn't really matter because that's going to be under the bow tie. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. But for the actual bow tie, I want to do more of this technique that looks more like it's on the fabric or like it was originally a part of the fabric as opposed to placed on top. I probably could have found fabric that was yellow with red polka dots, but I wasn't at a fabric store, I was at a craft store, and so they had these t-shirts and red paint, and I just decided the time spent doing this is equal to the time searching for the fabric, so I just went with this method. Okay, so my dog's barking out the window, but I, this is dried, so I'm going to make the bow, and like I said, the dogs are barking. So you have it, a finished bow tie to go with Mike's costume. Once I have the hat from Krispy Kreme, his costume will be finished. Okay, now I'm gonna make the scarf for my part of the costume. In the movie, in the outfit that I wanna recreate, she's wearing a sheer red scarf and it's got some black detailing on it, which it looks like um, piping or that it was sewn onto her scarf but I don't wanna sew. And so I just took a priority mail box and I took some clamps and I'm just clamping it down. I'm just going to use a Sharpie to draw on some details. Let's hope this works. Okay, my original plan was to do both sides, but given as how tedious that was and how many hours I already have in this, I think I might just keep it at the one side. I gotta go look in the mirror and make sure you can see it well enough. And if you can, I think I'm just gonna stick to doing the one side. So I wanted to show you that I made these bags for us to take 
our cocktails for the night because we're going to a house party. So to make this, I just printed out a clown dog logo that I saw on the internet. It didn't have to be in color or anything. I flipped it over, I took a regular pencil and I just rubbed the side of the pencil all over the back of the logo that I wanted to copy. Then I took washi tape and I positioned the bag, or I positioned the logo on the bag where I want it to be, taped it down. Then I took like the end of a pen, and you just go along and you push really hard around the outline, and that's going to leave a pencil mark where the whole um, logo is. So I went every line that I wanted to show up, I traced on this logo, and then I just went back with a thin tip Sharpie and traced back over the pencil marking on the bag to get what looks like a very authentic clown dog bag. One of the last details I have to make is um, Sue Ellen's key necklace. She has some bigger keys than these, but this is the biggest I could find at the craft store. Actually, that's a lie. They had giant ones that would have been way too big. And then I have this leather. I just bought thin little jewelry leather, whatever like the cheapest was, because I didn't need a lot. She wears this necklace pretty long. I want it to go about to my belly button. And voila, key necklace to go with my costume. That's everything. We've got all the pieces to be Sue Ellen and Brian from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Hi guys, okay, so here's our finished costumes. I was gonna show you how I made the hat, but um, I made it and forgot to record it, so that's life. However, I just took a Krispy Kreme hat, I did go buy a donut, and <laughs> thank you for modeling. This is Mike, by the way, and I just took cardstock heavier paper and I hot glued it around the hat and then added the red lines with a sharpie that's it okay so here's the finished products we'll do a pan up and down so you can see everything there's the finished clown dog bag I colored in the letters because that's more authentic to the movie um, you can see I have my scarf I've got my keys and get you closer to see the hairstyle and those earrings. And you can see Mike's Brian costume with the Brian button. The bow tie worked out great. And like I said, we'll do a pan up and down so you can see everything. Okay guys, we are off to our party. These are our costumes. Sue Ellen Crandall and Brian from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I hope somebody at the party knows what we are. Probably not. It's kind of obscure, but hopefully you guys know. I'm counting on you to come through for me. If you've never seen the movie, make sure you check it out. It's a classic. So we're headed to our party. Thanks so much. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Bye for now and happy Halloween.